Hello, my name is John Burns from Final Cut Pro Classes in New York City, and um, today I would like to show you a little bit about keyframing the effects in Final Cut Pro X. It's a little bit similar as in Final Cut Pro Studio, um, but there are some differences. I'm going to go ahead and put a clip on the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and pick it an in and out. So here's going to be my in. I hit I, and I'm going to take it all the way to here. That's going to be my out. And I want it to go right here at the beginning of the timeline. Now, unlike Final Cut Pro Studio, um, the playhead doesn't have to be anywhere when you hit um, to append at the end because it's going to go at the beginning because there's nothing else in the timeline, even though the playhead's um, not at the beginning. Just like Final Cut Studio, uh, the playhead is where you want your keyframes to be made, so you want to put your playhead where you want to start keyframing. I want to go to the effects palette. I'm going to hit this little button here. And that brings up my effects palette. And I'm going to do something simple like the uh, Gaussian blur. I'm going to grab it and drag it into the clip. Okay, so now it's in the clip. Looks like it has a default blur on it. I want to now see the controls to that blur. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this information button. And uh, I'm going to highlight the clip. And under the uh, video uh, button here, I'll see the effect that I put in. Here's the Gaussian blur. And I can see um, it's already at a default of 50. So I'm going to go put the playhead at the first frame of the clip. I'm going to hit this button. I can hit the up arrow key also. And that gives me the first frame of that clip. I'm going to make the blur even more. Okay, And then you see these little diamonds that pop up. These are your keyframes here. So I want to have it remember these values. So I hit the keyframe, okay, and that remembers those values. So now all I have to do is move the playhead to somewhere else, but unlike Final Cut Pro, unlike Final Cut Studio, uh, where I could just move the values and it generates the keyframes on its own, here you have to hit the keyframe and then move the values. So here I want it to go to zero, okay. So now when I'm in the timeline, I can drag my playhead, and you can see that that amount slider is moving from the point A to point B. And that's pretty much how you keyframe all the effects in Final Cut Pro X. Um, sometimes uh, there might not be a slider, there might be a wheel or, or another control, but pretty much it works the same. So if I wanted to also do the horizontal here, so here I would set the value Okay, and here I can, I already hit the keyframe, so the value is going to be set there. I don't have to hit it again or I'll delete that keyframe. And just move the playhead, hit the keyframe, and set the value to a different value. And now you can see that slider moves also. And that's a short tutorial on how to keyframe uh, effects in the video.